All right, what's up guys? Matt here from Loon Outdoors and uh, today we're gonna be tying a fun little fly that I call the repeat offender. I have a firehole sticks shank in here um, and I'm gonna be using one of their little intruder hooks as well. So this is a size eight intruder hook. It's on some uh, 85 pound braid. I like there to be a little bit of uh, wiggle room here. <clears throat> So what we'll do is we'll start out, and I give it about, oh, half an inch behind the fly here uh, for the nippy little buggers that might eat this. Now, this is something you can throw on a trout spay. Um, it's not that big of a hook, so it's not something that you have to worry about hurting fish with. Um, or, but the hook is stout enough, um, and this fly is uh, an evolution of a fly that I designed called the Perpetrator, and it's a October Caddis swing fly for steelhead and uh, we use it here in northern california southern oregon out on the dish shoots as well so this fresh spool is pretty squeaky of uh, vivas 50d there we go put a little Little dubbing wax on there, smooth it right out. Perfect. So the the way that I start this fly out is kind of like a lot of other flies. You just go in, um, but we're gonna do a, create your, your thread base. I like to double that over, make sure it's a nice strong connection point. Um, but next up, we're just gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna use a little bit of hot orange UV fly finish and this will actually make up like a little egg sack. And I'm gonna nestle that right up against the vise here. And I'll go ahead and just gently rotate until I'm set up there. And this is gonna get covered uh, by dubbing actually. So um, it's just a little bit of a hot spot just to give the fish a little back view of, of what's going on or what's to come. And for my, for my body here, I'm gonna use some ICE 369 and tan. It's a nice tan dubbing. Um, and as you can see, I have all my dubbings dialed in on this, uh, on a bench ring here. So these are all my ice dubs. And I'm gonna use a little bit of uh, UV cinnamon orange and create this really cool dubbing blend. Uh, I'm also gonna mix in just a little bit of the SLF. Um, and this one happens to be a dark brown stone. And this just creates a little bit of highlights and flash inside of there. As you can see, it has just a little bit of all of that. So I'll go ahead and mix these up really, really well. Um, and it ends up just being this really, really good little dubbing blend. So next up, we'll go ahead and we'll pull a dubbing loop. Just a little short one. Doesn't have to be huge. And we'll put that in our dubbing spinner. And once I get this all lined out, I'm gonna go ahead and lay it down and I'll pick it up with, uh, I just like to pick it up with my D-loop tweezers. And we'll go ahead and give that a spin. So at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and use just the dubbing brush to really just aggressively attack this. And it's going to have a nice kind of lightish orange brown color to it. And October caddis pupas are kind of uh, gelatinous in nature, so having a little bit of extra fluff flying around is totally fine. And we we'll probably won't use all of this dubbing actually. Um, And again, this is like a great little swing fly, be great little trout spay fly if you're fishing someplace where there's big trout as well, uh, and you're and you're wanting to swing for some October caddis eaters. So next up, I'm going to take the bead, and I just kind of counterintuitively pull it back over, so the bead kind of is going to be hidden inside of the fly's body. Uh, and let's see where did I set that down. So I'll. 
kind of just take my dubbing teaser and tease this out quite a bit. You can see it just gets this really, really cool look behind it. And there's kind of just a lot of, this all gets kind of like gelatinous and crunched down and that hot spot kind of stays in there. Um, so next up, I'll just take a little bit more of that Whitlock stubbing. And right now I'm just aligning it. And I'm just gonna kind of Palmer this over again just creating a collar, you can see I kind of wrap it and then I'll pull it back over. And then I wrap back up against that bead there. And again, I'm gonna go ahead and tease this out as much as possible. Um, next up, I, I love pheasant rump. I use it on a lot of my flies that uh, are being swung. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick a pretty prime looking feather here. It's gonna be pretty long. And I'm gonna take all of kind of this fluffy phyllo plumy section area out. And I'm gonna tie it in tip first. I like to do that because I feel like the shorter fibers are gonna suspend some of the longer fibers. Um, so I'll go ahead and just tie that in. Fold this back over for security, and then I'll come in and trim off this tip here. And this is one of those things where you can go as light as heavy, or as light or as heavy as you want, sorry. And the reason for that is, it just depends on what you want the fly to present like. If you want it to present kind of light and airy, it's just a big soft tackle, so you know, just don't don't go super super heavy on these on these palmerine wraps here, um, but you can see you get this kind of cool little profile going. Um, next up, I just add a little bit of guinea and not not too much of it um, as well. This one happens to be dyed brown, so we're going to do about one wrap here. And this one I'm not as concerned about pulling out because I'm going to wrap back out over everything. So I'm just going to throw in one wrap here of double guinea. And by double, I mean I don't strip half of it off. And I'll go ahead and just tie that in. Trim off the excess. And now we're going to go ahead and just create the, a little head of this fly here. And I do a few more wraps than I probably need to, but I'm gonna, die, I'm gonna uh, tint it black with a uh, Sharpie marker and then coat it with some flow. And October caddis kind of have a little bit of a darker head and makes me feel good at the end of the day. And when you're swinging flies for an adromous fish, it's all about the confidence that you have. So once we have that done there, we'll go ahead and cure that with the infinity light. And there you go. That's a pretty awesome little swing fly. Um, and when it rests in the water, it's just going to sit kind of perfectly out there, swing through the riffles, swing it through the buckets and get bit. Hope you guys enjoy and take care.